Right, you guys, got another video here for you. Microsoft wants Copilot AI everywhere on Windows. If you're a Windows user and you don't like AI, then unfortunately, Windows are going to be embedding Copilot just about everywhere in the Windows operating system. And I don't think you're going to be able to remove it. It's going to become the new Cortana, which you can't remove, and it's going to be deeply embedded in the code. You can already see that we have it in the browser. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. It's starting to be embedded in other locations on Windows. So you can see here on the actual menu here, we do have the actual Copilot already embedded here or AI. And you can see here, once we go in here, there's going to be usable just about on every application you can think of on Windows 11 and probably in the future releases of Windows, it's going to be heavily used as Microsoft have already said that they are going to really use AI in up and coming Windows releases. So you can see here when you even go into paint, they've even incorporated it into paint here as well, where you can use AI in paint. And if you know anything about AI, you'll probably know that you can use AI to do just about anything. And if that is the case, then they're going to be putting it just about everywhere inside of your system. There's going to be inside the emails. It's going to be on your desktop, as you already know, in your search on the taskbar here on the right hand side. You can see we do have Copilot already embedded here. And I dread to think how bad this is going to get once they release the next operating system. It's going to be completely AI based. And you will not need to do anything. You'll just go straight into an AI app and you'll be probably paying some sort of subscription fees for some of the uses of these AI tools that you see on the Internet right now that are AI based. And basically, these tools will help you write out articles. They can help you do uh, graphics and things like that. And I can honestly see Microsoft uh, doing this inside the actual operating system and then obviously charging a subscription service to be able to use some of the advanced features that this AI has. Now, before we continue, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, check out the links in the video description and use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order. Now, once you've created an account on CD Key Sales and purchased your order, you can use PayPal to pay for it and they will send you your key and you'll be able to activate your version of Windows. OK, so let's carry on with the video. So Phantom Ocean 3 has posted this article on his Twitter account and I wanted to show you this because this is Notepad in the future. This is coming to you real soon. It's going to have AI embedded in Notepad. I mean, where does Microsoft stop? They are going to embed uh, AI in all of their applications that are inside Windows and there's going to be no way you can avoid it. It's going to be literally used on a heavy scale like this. This is just a simple Notepad document and if they're embedding AI into Notepad, then where are they going to stop? Now we already know that Microsoft have big plans for artificial intelligence, which is AI, and it's becoming clear that it believes that ChatGPT, which is a natural language technology in general, will play a big part of Windows. Since announcing a 10 billion investment into OpenAI, the creator of ChatGPT and also Chatbot at the start of this year, it's already integrated the technology into its Bing browser and also into other components into Windows. So who knows how far they're gonna take this. They're already gonna be adding a key on your keyboard now. So all new computers that are being made today are going to have a dedicated key on the keyboard of all new computers, which is for Copilot. So if you thought AI is going to be going away anytime soon, you're mistaken. It's going to become deeply embedded into uh, the actual operating system itself. And Microsoft have made clear posts all about this. And it's quite scary to think that we're going to be so dependent on uh, AI in a computer in the very near future. You can already see that they're embedding AI into their browsers, into Office 365, also into 
their Surface uh, devices, and a bunch of other things that they're going to be doing it into applications and things like that. So you can see that maybe when the new release of Windows comes out, it's going to be heavily dependent or de heavily embedded into the actual operating system itself, and you're not going to be able to uninstall probably any of this stuff. So be prepared for the new operating system when it comes to be heavily embedded with lots of AI. And again, Microsoft have already said that now they've joined forces with OpenAI and they've bought 10 billions worth of investment into the company. You can see that they are looking to use this in their up and coming releases of their operating systems. So if AI is not for you, Sadly, it's going to get worse, and maybe Windows might not be an option for you in the foreseeable future if uh, they continue down this path of embedding AI in just about every application and every OS that they release from here forward. So anyway, I think that's going to be about it. Just a quick video today on Microsoft's plans to infuse AI and chat GPT into everything Windows. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who are joined my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next video. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.